Welcome to Old Mission Boat Company's construction videos for the Boardman 14. In this video, I will show you how to install the deck. Before installing the deck, you should do a review of the work completed and the supplies needed to set the deck. So, let's review. You should have all of the blocks installed and filleted. That includes the bow block, the deck block, the handle block, and the transom taper blocks. The intermediate frames should be installed, coated with epoxy, and filleted. If you haven't coated the underside of the deck panel with epoxy, do that now before you begin the installation process. The underside of the deck panel has the fiberglass cloth applied to the wave scarf. Check the wave scarf and make sure it is smooth and sand any areas that would keep the panel from laying flat on the frames. Check all of the surfaces where the deck panel will make contact with the boat. Look for hardened blobs of epoxy that might have squeezed out from joints that would keep the deck from setting down flat on the frames. Run your fingers along the top of each frame and shear clamp and feel for any epoxy that is protruding. Use a rasp or some sandpaper to smooth those areas. Check the epoxy that squeezed out behind the taper blocks at the transom and make sure there is a nice tapered and smooth surface for the deck panel to lay flat. Use a rasp to smooth that area. Use a vacuum to clean any debris out of the inside of the boat. Also, before you start to mix epoxy, set up the bottom half of the deck clamping boards under the boat. Spread out the clamping boards so that you have one every foot along the length of the boat, 13 boards in total. Set the top half of the deck clamping boards nearby so that you can place them as soon as the deck goes on. Have your two lengths of clamping rope untangled and laid out so they are ready to use. Also, have about 30 tongue depressors ready for the twist knots or prepare some small four to five inch long pieces of wood. If you are using a caulking tube to apply the epoxy, you should cut one side of the tip off about three quarters of an inch back to leave a flat on one side of the tip. You will run that flat blade along one side of the frame to place a thin line of epoxy on top of the frame edges. You can use the zip top bag method also. Once you start applying the thickened epoxy to the frames, you will need to work quickly to complete that before the epoxy starts to thicken in place. It works best if you have a helper assist in that process. Two people applying the epoxy moves much quicker and you will have more time to do a complete and neat job. Mix up a triple batch of epoxy and add the thickening agent until you have a paste-like texture that will sag just slightly when picked up on a stirring stick but not drip off. This mixture should be very similar to the texture of the fillet epoxy. Place the thickened epoxy into the application tube and insert the plastic sleeve or place the mixture into the zip top bag. Starting at the bow, place a bead of epoxy on the top of every frame member, including the intermediates. You will apply epoxy to every surface or frame edge that the top panel will touch when placed on the boat. Place thick beads on the top surface of each of the blocks and use a spreader to smooth the epoxy into an even layer on the blocks. Place a pencil-sized bead centered on the tops of both shear clamps. It will take about three triple batches to complete the epoxy. Once the epoxy is applied to all of the blocks, shear clamps, and the frame edges, you are ready to set the top. Be sure you have the deck in the proper orientation with the inside surface of the deck panel facing down. Remember, the inside of the deck has the fiberglass cloth over the wave scarf. Use a helper and elevate the deck above the boat by having one person hold the deck at the bow and the other person raising the deck above the boat. Slowly lower the bow end down and line the tip of the deck panel with the bow edge. 
hold the bow in place, and slowly lower the panel down, moving towards the transom. Line up one side of the deck edge with the side of the boat to guide the deck into place. You can slide the deck back and forth slightly to line it up with the hull, but do not raise the panel or lift the deck back off the boat. You are now ready to clamp the deck. Place the upper set of deck clamping boards along the deck, lining them up with the lower set. The deck clamping boards should be long enough to extend past the deck edge on both sides by about 3 inches. Tie one end of the clamping ropes onto the top clamping board at the bow end, about 1 to 2 inches away from the side of the boat. Now take the rope and simply do a complete circle by going under the bottom clamping board and back up and over the top clamping board and do a complete loop over the top board. This will make one continuous loop around the upper and lower clamping boards about one to two inches away from the side of the boat. Extend the rope to the second set of clamping boards and make another continuous loop. Keep walking down the side of the boat completing loops around each set of clamping boards until you reach the transom. At each clamping board set, remember to do a continuous loop around the top board before you extend the rope to the next set. Tie the rope off to the last set of the clamping boards with a single knot. Now, return to the first clamping loop at the bow end. Place a tongue depressor through the center of the loop and begin to twist the loop into a tight spiral. Push the tongue depressor through the spiral enough to rest against the side of the boat. This will keep the spiral from untwisting. You should tighten the spirals on each end of the clamping boards before moving to the next set. After you have all of the spirals completed, go back and start from the bow and check each clamping board set to be sure they are tightly clamped. Adjust the spirals as needed to assure a good clamping pressure. Check the deck edge in between each clamping board set and make sure it is setting down onto the top edge of the shear clamps. If you find some spots along the deck edge that need extra clamps, then use bar clamps to apply some slight pressure in those areas. If you don't have bar clamps, then you could use tape to pull those areas down. Wrap a layer of plastic wrap around the transom and set a pair of boards across the back edge, one under the transom and one on top of the deck centered over the transom tapers. Use some bar clamps or C-clamps to apply enough pressure to force the deck down onto the transom taper blocks. The plastic wrap will catch the epoxy that squeezes out at the transom. Once you have all the clamping boards adjusted, Square off the end of a tongue depressor or use a narrow scraper to clean off any epoxy that squeezed out along the deck edge. Allow the assembly to cure for about 8 hours before removing the clamping boards. 